Good evening, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. My name is John Pollock, and I am very tired. <laughs> I had a very long morning, and I'm running on like fumes right now, and I still have to go to work. But I figured before I got started on my next shift, I'd go ahead and do a video for you guys. Uh, one that I think is pretty important to the guys out there who are deciding to grow a beard for the first time. Or maybe not for the first time, but maybe they need some pointers along the way. So you decided to put the razor down. You decided you want to let your stubble grow out and see what happens afterwards. And that's awesome. So if you're at that point right now, the stubble part seems to be the longest part of the beard life feels like it just stays stubble forever and it is horrendous all right and it just feels like you get you get stuck in the stubble zone and not to mention you start getting to the point where the skin starts getting irritated and it starts scratching and it just becomes uncomfortable and you start contemplating whether it's worth it to even keep the stubble, whether it's even worth it to even try growing a beard out. Well, believe it or not, there are some things out there that will actually help you out a lot. And one of those things is beard oil. Now, if you're new to the world of beards, um, you will understand that beard oil is a must-have. It's perfect for conditioning the skin, for keeping the hair healthy, and it helps alleviate the dry itchiness uh, underneath. And whenever you do get a beard, or if your stubble starts growing out to a point, this stuff will help get rid of beard druff, which is the dandruff of the beard. This stuff that I have is great before shave. It's the Gentleman's Blend. It's got a nice little bourbon scent. It's probably not going to zoom in or focus, I should say. But I like this stuff. Wife loves the way it smells. A lot of beard oils out on the market today will have a lot of these things. They'll have tea tree oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, aloe vera, and some essential oils, which is stuff that makes it smell very amazing. So, you want to invest in a good beard oil. And I say whenever you get to the stubble point, you might want to go ahead and drop like maybe 15 bucks on some good beard oil, 15, 20, maybe 25 bucks, depending on what your budget is. There are some oils for cheaper on Amazon. They're around five or 10 bucks, but just understand you get what you pay for. So if you're gonna be willing to drop 15 to 20 bucks on a one, one ounce bottle of beard oil, it's worth it. Believe me. So don't be, don't be afraid of the price of it because you're definitely getting your money's worth out of it. I wish I knew about this stuff three years ago when I started growing my beard out. When I got to that stubble point, it just felt so uncomfortable and it was just driving me nuts. I just could not handle it and I was just starting to get to that point where... No matter how many times I shampooed it and washed it and all that all that fun stuff, it my skin was still irritated and still itchy and it was like what the heck. And in another video I'll I'll cover that. I'll cover my um my wash routine and what I use to wash and condition and all that fun stuff. So if you do if you're kinda like me and you have like sensitive skin underneath you might want to pay attention to it um, and I'll I'll drop a link or I'll just drop it on the channel I'll do that even better so anyways beard oil you might want to invest in it 
Now for stubble, um, if you got hair that's like on your on your thumbnail, if you got hair that's half the length of your thumbnail or to your thumbnail, uh, use just a little bit of this stuff. What I do is I, I put it like a little bit, like just one drop on each finger, just on one hand. And then what I do is I grab my, my fingers, massage them like that so I get even coverage, and then rub it in all over my face. And there you go, you're good to go, you're all set. Now for beards that are like like grown in, maybe it's not like my size, but you, you got a beard now, and it's kind of like around this size or below, like shorter, I should say, like this size or shorter. I would still use one or two drops on each finger, massage it, and then work it in. What happens if you use the whole dripper of beard oil, what you're going to find is if you oil your beard every day, your beard is going to get gunky and it's going to be gnarly looking. Now, maybe that's not the case for you. And to that I say, I'm lucky. Or you're lucky. You're lucky that you don't have to deal with like the gnarly, gunky looking beard. What I found was if I uh, use beard oil on my beard every day, my beard will kind of shrink and get really wavy and it will actually start to part like right here. And that's just because the oil um, kind of builds up as a grease and it just stays coated on, on the hair and it, it just, it's, it's not a very pleasant feeling because then you have to go wash and it's, it's not very nice. So like I said, um, this is, uh, the stuff that I I've been using lately is a uh, gray before shave. Uh, it's the gentleman's blend. Uh, this is the stuff that I really like. It's kind of my, uh, my weakness for right now. I I'm really enjoying it. So if you, um, if you want that they're not paying me to make this video, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Uh, if you want to check this uh, stuff out, uh, you can go, they have a page on Amazon and they have a website as well, gravebeforeshave.com. And it's also known as fisticuffs wax. I believe it is. It's fisticuffs.com. I think it is. I'm, I'm, I think that's what it is. I could be wrong, but anyways, And I'll, I'll cover more tips and tricks and stuff like that later on in life whenever I get more time. But for right now, it's almost time for me to go clock in. So get yourself some investment stuff. Invest in your beard. Invest in your health. And make sure you grow a nice, healthy beard. All right? So... That being said, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Get out there, go kick ass, go take names, chew bubble gum, and take a really good nap as soon as you're done with it. Rinse and repeat. And don't forget to use beard oil. You're going to need it. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.